This presentation on how solar works, a guide for residential grid connected PV systems, is brought to you by American Solar. How solar works is fairly easy to understand. Basically, the solar panels on a solar array turn sunlight into electricity. When the sun shines, particles of light, or photons, hit your solar panels. The panels then convert these photons into electrons of direct current, or DC power. The more sunlight that hits the panel, the more energy your system produces. After converting photons to electrons, the system transfers the electrons from the panel to an inverter. The inverter takes the DC power generated by the electrons and converts it to AC power or alternating current. AC power is what your home uses to run all the appliances and equipment when you're plugged into an outlet. How solar works with grid connected systems. A final component in how solar works is called MET metering. A bidirectional meter is installed to track power generated from your system. Excess energy not used by your household will be routed to your utility through the meter and credited to your account. When your solar system doesn't produce enough energy to power your needs, like during the night or when it's cloudy outside, you can tap into this credit. A good way to think about net metering is having your own virtual backup system. With a grid connected system you get the best of both worlds. Low cost solar energy produced by your system with any excess being sold back to utility and access to power from your utility whenever you need it. By far how solar works today is by grid connected installations. In the net metering scenario described above, your meter runs backwards during the day when you're producing the most power and the utility basically buys your excess energy. You only get charged for electricity from your utility when you exhaust your net metering credits. Most often, however, people who haven't learned how solar works assumes all systems operate off the grid. Although off-grid systems are available, they're typically installed in remote locations where utility access is unavailable or cost prohibitive to provide. The beauty of being grid connected is you don't need batteries for your solar system. Batteries are cumbersome and require maintenance. If you're connected to the grid, there's no reason to have batteries since you'll always have access to traditional utility power. Another drawback to having batteries is the expense. In addition to being costly up front, you'll need to replace them every five years or so. With most solar energy systems lasting more than 20 years, buying replacement parts like batteries is an expensive inconvenience. How solar works for off-grid systems is very different. You must have batteries to store energy and provide when the sun isn't shining. Like all technologies, batteries will most likely become more advanced, affordable, and may have a viable option for all homeowners down the road. Until then, the best option if you're located close to utility is to invest in a grid-connected system. How solar works with utility billing. While your solar system is producing energy and you're using that energy to power your home, you won't be billed from the utility. As mentioned previously, any energy you produce during the day will be routed back to the utility. During the week, for example, your system may produce much more power than your home uses because you may be at work when the sun is shining. You get credited for all the unused energy your system sends back to the utility. You will only be billed from your utility for the cost of the energy after all the credits from power you sold back are exhausted. Each utility will have its own program guidelines, but theoretically you could have a bill of zero if your solar system is producing more energy than you use. About the author. Joyce Seitz is Vice President of Business and Policy Development at American Solar, one of Arizona's leading solar companies who designs and installs solar electric systems and solar hot water systems. Visit us at www.americanpv.com for more information about how solar works.